I think it's known by most at this point that the internet is not a private place. Employers search through potential hirees' social media accounts for a look into their private lives. Google, Facebook, and other internet megacorporations look through internet usage both on and off their sites in order to gain relevant information about their users that they can later sell. And perhaps most egregiously, governments around the world gather internet data from its own citizens. In my country, the United States of America, this kind of mass surveillance is performed by the infamous NSA, the CIA, and to a lesser extent, the CSS and the FBI. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail of how all of this works. Um, I'll put some articles in the description if you want to read them. Uh, statistically speaking, um, most of you won't, but I'll put them down there anyway. What you really need to know is that according to documents leaked by Edward Snowden in 2013, the NSA utilizes a system known as PRISM in order to gather data from various complying tech companies. Companies that have signed up to help with the program include Verizon, Google, Microsoft, AOL, Yahoo, Facebook, Apple, and PalTalk. Whatever that is. Keep in mind that this is in no way a complete list. And these leaks came out in 2013, so there is little known about how many and which companies are involved with this program. The NSA, with the cooperation of these companies, gather data from internet history to text, voice, and video chats. When this was released to the public in 2013, it was big news, but like most United States atrocities, mass surveillance quickly became the new norm, and the average citizen fell back into complacency. Seven years later, it's hardly ever mentioned. A baffling number of people I've talked to don't even remember the name Edward Snowden. Often when I express concerns about internet privacy and mass surveillance, people end up arguing with me, telling me it's not such a big deal. Most arguments end up boiling down to this. I have nothing to hide, so I have nothing to fear. While this common sentiment is comforting to the individual, it's more or less incorrect. First of all, let me give you a hypothetical. Let's say a new law passed stating that every citizen in your country will be followed around by a drone with a camera on it, and everything you say and do is live streamed to Google and subsequently the government. Ignoring the logistical nightmare that would be, what would your reaction be? Because surely you have absolutely no issue with this as you have nothing to hide. If you have an issue with this, how is mass internet surveillance any better? The average American spends 24 hours a week on the internet according to a study done by USC Annenberg. And that isn't including the time used texting and calling people on the phone which is also monitored. For better or for worse, we live in an age where much of our lives involves the internet in some way, and thus we cannot continue to disconnect real life and internet usage as separate things. Secondly, it's important to remember those who go against the government for the betterment of society. Most activists who are simply trying to make the world a better place go head to head with the government all the time. The U.S. government doesn't have a great history with how it treats activists. Think of how the FBI treated Leonard Peltier, Asada Shakur, or even Martin Luther King Jr. Now, all that's different is that they have more sophisticated means of surveying people on the internet, making activism a much more dangerous activity than it was in the past. A suspicious number of prominent Ferguson protesters are either in jail or dead. Many of these protesters were identified from photos taken from the protests themselves. I'm not usually into conspiracy theories, but that's not a coincidence. I think there was even one guy that was lynched to death in his front yard, and if I remember right, the police ruled it a suicide. It is totally possible that these killings were not institutional and were not government sanctioned, but all that means is that individuals within the police department or within the intelligence community abused their power and used the intelligence gained in order to track down, survey, and ultimately silence these activists. Now, I understand that most people watching this video aren't going to be the next Mother Jones, but being involved with any kind of progressive activism has become a lot more dangerous and it's easier than ever before for the government 
to find people and target them for harassment. Saying mass surveillance isn't an issue because it doesn't affect you individually is a reductionist and frankly egocentric way of understanding the issue. It's not just established institutions you should be scared of either. When companies and governments congregate a lot of information, they need to store it somewhere. And when data is stored, it's always vulnerable to theft. So even if you don't have a problem with companies storing your personal information, you might just wake up one day and find out that your personal info has been leaked onto the internet from your Ashley Madison account and your credit card info from Target. And no matter what your stance is on surveillance, I think we can all agree that that's not a favorable situation. I guess what I'm trying to say is that companies and government agencies performing mass surveillance on everyday people creates an environment in where everyone now must constantly monitor and self-censor what they say online, whether that be on a public forum or on a private conversation with a loved one. Everything is constantly looked at and scrutinized by at least one entity, and the whole thing creates an environment that is made perfectly for abuse of power, Orwellian domestic control, and leaks in personal security data banks. If you are at all interested in combating this kind of problematic surveillance, increasing your internet privacy, and perhaps even helping others achieve a similar goal, I will be posting more videos on internet privacy and related issues. Um, so watch out for that, I guess. Okay, bye.